Hello everyone, it has been quite some time since I uh, uploaded a video. There has been so many changes in my life, it's not funny. Um, so I am just over two years post sleeve. I have lost just shy of 80 kilos, or varying, I, I vary up and down in my weight um, by a couple of kilos, depending on what's going on in my life. Um, and, you know, if I indulge or if I stick by. Um, so just over two years post-surgery, I am anywhere between 78 to 81 kilos lost pending. Um, I have now started to look into skin removal surgery, um, being I have a lot of excess skin on my arms um, and around my stomach, um, which obviously affects clothes fitting um so anywhere I, I can wear a size 16 to 18 pending obviously what the brand is but i but i find that it's mainly just to um to fit the the a, the massive apron i actually have um which I've already looked into being removed. I've upgraded my health insurance again so I can afford to get it done. Uh, it's going to probably be about $8,000 roughly because it's a cosmetic procedure. Uh, but I'm also going to speak to my surgeon again um, to see if there's a potential that he may do it. Um, my mother-in-law, father-in-law, sister-in-law... I've all had the same surgery as me. My mother-in-law is like 10 years post-op and she's had skin removal surgery and all that kind of thing. Um, and she recommended speaking to our surgeon, Dr. Ho, because he removed her stomach. He's not a plastic surgeon by any means, um, but it was an area that apparently he was interested in, just never pursued. Um, and her excess skin removal actually looks quite neat and good, which is fine. Um, so I am making an appointment with him over the coming weeks to discuss the options with him to see if it's potentially able to get it done a bit cheaper. Uh, unfortunately, I do need to wait until towards the end of the year, um, to get it done, um, because of some really major, major life changes. Um, at the start of COVID last year, my dad was diagnosed, um, uh, with terminal cancer um and he passed away in December um December of 2020 uh yeah so he passed away in December of 2020 um so over the period of that time um our old house that we were living in we'd owned almost 10 years had started to really move um so we were in the process of looking to do a knockdown rebuild um at the time and then obviously my dad got diagnosed and I'm an only child with an only grandchild um so my mum made the decision that if we were happy after much discussion that we would build a granny flat <coughs> um so we started to explore the options of that anyways fast forward um we got all our finance approved basically as my dad passed away um and we have literally spent the last two weeks demolishing our house our house is like gone done dusted down to ground so now we are just sorting all that out um and hopefully the builder will start in the next sort of month and a half so hopefully by christmas time we will be in our new house uh, my mum will be living up here so i will have the extra support that's needed um when it comes to skin removal surgery being that it's a bit longer of a healing process you can't lift you can't do a great deal I'm very, very lucky being I worked in an office-based job, so heavy lifting isn't really a major thing for me. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at surgery update-wise. Um, I will document the skin removal as it come. I'm hoping to post um, a few updates um, <clears throat> as we go, which will be pretty cool. Um, I'll do also some updated photos and things like that as well and I will post them over the coming time it's a little bit more difficult now I've moved back in with my in-laws um, so it's yeah <laughs> um, so we've got like multiple shift workers working like living under the same roof and 
it can be a bit more challenging to sort of do things whilst wrangling a four-year-old child to keep quiet so she doesn't wake her dad up or her um, poppy up or her nan up or her uncle up or, you know, whatever the situation may be. Um, so that's where we are at. It is going well. I'm really happy with the results. Even though starting at such a higher weight um, compared to sort of some, even though I haven't hit under the 100 kilo or I vary sort of under the 100 kilo mark, sometimes like just cracking it you still feel like a fat blob that is something I'm working on with a psychologist um to sort of get past that food addiction and past that um that point um but it has for me it hasn't been an overly easy road I mean yes I haven't like issue I haven't had any issues with reflux I haven't had any issues with anything like that um it's more so just the mental capacity side of it all but yeah that's sort of where we are at um i will document obviously everything else moving forward um i'm hoping to be a bit more active and a bit more of a bigger support and go from there maybe do a few more cooking videos being that we do a lot of that um and get a bit more motivated all right, guys, if you have any questions or want to ask anything, just comment below and I will respond and do all that kind of stuff. All right, bye.